on developer.blender.org see there are some activities around the self fracture add-on for Blender 2.8. Um, there is not really a documentation for it, but I tried it out and there are a few things that is uh, worth to share. So in Blender, when you go to the preferences, you type in frac, then you see object self fracture activated, save preferences and then refresh. And then you will find in Blender the um, add-on when you press M go over here then you see cell fracture i will turn on my screencast keys so you can see what i type then we add the cube so the shift a and c we have cube here get rid of this pop-up i will make some first animations so press shift tab then animate be sure that the um, on this, the surface is selected, so you are painting on the surface of the cube. It doesn't matter much where you put the strokes, you will see that uh, later probably. Alright, so I have some strokes here. Then shift up again, and select that, repress cell fracture. And I will uh, go quickly over some options you see here. Here is, you can define uh, how the fractures are defined. Is it from the verts, from the own verts? Or is it from particles, if you have particle set up? Or a random animation pen, uh, pencil, uh, and I'm not sure what this is. If you know, then let me know in the comments. Then transform, we don't want to simplify our base mesh because it's already a very simple cube. Noise, that seems to be like um, a seed. Margin, that will add a gap between the fractures and I uh, actually quite like that, I kept a little bit. A scale, that is, if I will show that later because um, we, later we will get an interactive pop up uh, on the left bottom uh, so for this one but this is quite um, it has quite some uh, processor use you can press this one and then it will make a vertex group and this one is handy you can hide the original because it's going to make fractures and then you want to hide this base cube or you can move the fractures beside the original so let's do that I think then I press OK and there we see our fractures so and we have here our pop-up and I turn this down because those were quite boring uh, fractures. I use animation instead. As you see, this has nothing to do with the direction of the stroke. So I'm not sure why it is, but that's why I just made some strokes and then uh, I play around with this. So it's a bit a matter of playing around and uh, check if you like it. Uh, this is simplified, this is the noise, so if we do this, then we see several um, noises. Strange thing, if we go back, we got an, another noise, so it's quite uh, random. This looks quite good. A skill that is, if you do that, you will get the fractures aligned to the X axis, to the Y axis, or in the Z. Maybe that's useful. Recurse shadow, I'm not going to use that now because I think the um, I, will, I will get the freeze, so I cannot use that uh, when recording. 
So, um, no, that's something else. That's it. Now, the next step that is, I want to delete this cube. Also, the annotations, I'm not sure what they are. They are here. Then, next, what I want to show is the modifier stack, because this is not yet useful for uh, rendering out or to use it, because the edges are very sharp, etc. So, the first thing we want to do is decimate. You might wonder why I use that. Well, initially, I was looking for um, merge, uh, mer merge by distance, but we don't have that yet, and... This is a kind of substitute for that. Next uh, one is a bevel. Um, I can press B, bevel. There you are. Um, we see that this is now the active. This is selected, orange color. It's more yellow color. So this one is affected now. But we solve that later. We use an uh, angle, put it around uh, 50. and keep on clamp overlap but then put this up as far as possible or put it just up then next one that is subdivision surface so now we got a shape that is a little bit better than what we had now you want to apply these modifiers to all objects so you press ctrl l and then you press modifiers, and then it will be applied to all modifiers. Now it's a matter of uh, playing around with these uh, settings, because there's not uh, one general rule. Um, if you want to change settings and apply it to all uh, scatters, then you press Alt first, and then you change that. So. Uh, looks uh, quite okay. The segments sometimes it's nice to. Ah, I forgot to press Alt. So Alt, press that. Some depends what you want, but if this is what you want, you can do that. Or do that. Then we can play with the angle, of course. Forgot to press Alt again. So. That looks actually quite good. Next one, what do I do? Oh, it's uh, shading. So I press Z, shade smooth. It will be applied to all. But then I go to this tab, and that is the context object data. There are under normals. We click auto smooth. We press alt again. So we apply this to all uh, things, uh, all uh, objects, scatters. I'm not sure if I want to use smooth. Let's check it out. Smooth, Control L, modifiers. Then scroll down. In fact, I always put this on uh, one. And then we have to press Alt, of course. You can also go in Edit Mode and then press Alt S to bump this a little bit up to fatten it. Go back, there you have it. Uh, if we then apply all modifiers, I have here a button that's from add on. I forgot what it was, but there is an add-on, uh, you can do that. So I uh, apply or otherwise you can click here. So apply all. Then all modifiers will be applied. If you then go in edit mode, you see quite a good uh, topology. It's not too bad. Only then this uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, four. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, last one is 
there's also cell to crack, but if you do that, then it will make one object. Then there is, you can select here materials. I found uh, lava, quite nice. Append material. Then we go to the look that preview. We have to wait for the shaders to compile. And there we have it. We can select uh, all objects, press B, and then be sure to make this active. Press L, and then materials, and there we have it. Uh, last thing, add, where well, we add some rigged bodies. Scale on the Z, grab here. Scale shift set put it there and we give this a material. Next one is we select all these, then we go to object rig body at active. Then here we go to object rig body. Add passive. And we can also define what mass they, they have. So let's calculate mass. Let's say, let's choose something and then so, so that uh, actually work very good. So that's the, um, the fracture cell or the cell fracture add-on. Um, I will show, uh, post on the blenders-addons.org so you can find more information there like uh, shortcuts and you can find also other add-ons for Blender 2.8. And if you want to comment uh, you can do so, so we can all learn a little bit more. All right, thank you for watching.